How much do you think your healthcare data could sell for on the dark web? Well, medical information can be sold on the dark web for over $500 a person. So you could imagine when you get into thousands or millions of people, this can be worth a lot of money. Don't worry, I'll get into why that is at the end of the video, but I recently saw a headline about a Tennessee-based healthcare company that reported a data breach that affected over 11 million people. Now, this is the biggest healthcare data breach that we've ever seen, reported at least, and no one I know is really talking about it. But personally, I'm a data analyst at a health insurance company, so I think I can confidently answer a few of the questions that might come around this situation. And those are, one, what is contained in healthcare data? Two, how is healthcare data compromised? Like, how does it get out? How does it get leaked? And three, why is healthcare data worth so much damn money? So one, what is in healthcare data? I can confidently answer this. You can see everything from your name, your last name, your address, your phone numbers, how much money you're spending at hospitals for different diseases, the actual diseases that you do have or you are diagnosed with, all the notes from a doctor or a PCP that you go and see. You can see lab results. So if you go give blood or something and you're getting lab results back for them from that or you're getting a spot on your uh, skin tested for cancer and that comes back, all those lab results are going to be stored. You can also have things like risk scores saying, yeah, this person is likely to die in the next two years. And that is something that we have on record. And finally, you can also have billing information, things like credit card numbers or debit card numbers or bank account information that can all be existing in healthcare data. So you can imagine with all of that, there's probably a decent reason why it can fetch so much on the black market view. Like you have data on nearly every aspect of a patient's life. So let's get into the second question. How can all this data get compromised? As you can imagine, as a company that works with healthcare data, we take security pretty seriously. So we do things like lock data sets down with security requests so that only people that need to view that information can actually do it. So if I were to submit a security request for something that I just didn't have any necessary reason or valid reason to be looking at, then I would get denied. Now, this can't be foolproof, obviously, but we also have multiple trainings on best practices so that we can personally avoid any risk of somebody else finding out information that they're not supposed to. And sometimes we lock ourselves down to not be able to share any data externally. This means that if we have some number or something or some statistic that we just can't show to a certain group of people, then we have to lock that down and only show it internally and kind of let our in internal leaders kind of make decisions based on that information, but not actually share it with the outside world. Now, that's what we do to protect ourselves. Obviously, a good IT security system, but I don't know much about that. So that's important, but I can't talk too much on it. So how can somebody like me mess up? No, I'm not saying I'm going to. Please don't fire me. Humans make mistakes, okay? Maybe a file that somebody saved on their local computer gets compromised. Maybe they clicked on a link that they weren't supposed to, and that gave somebody access to their files, and they saw this file full of patient records. That's one way. Or on the flip side, the employee knowingly did it and accepted a little bit of a pay cut of those who were taking the data and selling it on the black market, or maybe they were even selling it on the black market themselves. Anyway, somebody who was not supposed to see this data now has the data and it's available to sell on the black market. And now three, finally, why is healthcare data worth so much damn money? We know what's in the data. We know how maybe it can get out, but why is it worth so much? Well, healthcare data is valuable for a few reasons. Like I said earlier, it's a holistic view. One patient record can contain so much sensitive information, like more so than any other one record anywhere else in the world. Healthcare data is so comprehensive that that is one of the reasons why it is so valuable on the dark web. Now, the second is that when you have information about somebody's health records, some people can maliciously target them. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, let's say you're some Joe Schmo who runs some kind of shady business, says it heals people of cancer, but in reality, it's just a piece of salt that they take once a day and they pay thousands and thousands of dollars before. Now, if you were this company, would you pay a little bit to have information on who has cancer? Well, this is the kind of information that can leak and get to these companies and these shady actors who want that information just so they can make a monetary profit. Now, sure, that might happen, but probably the most common reason is medical identity theft. Now, what's medical identity theft? Well, criminals can do things like file fraudulent Medicare claims, 
leave the victim on the hook for the claim filed. So they have to pay all this money to get this procedure done that they didn't actually have done. This is one way you can extort people and get a lot of money from them, or you can just mess with them. This is the type of thing that happens with medical identity theft. Or you can do things like file a prescription in somebody else's name. Maybe you have to have a certain condition or be a certain age to get a kind of medication. And you can have that person's information, go to the pharmacy, and fill out your prescription as if you were them. Now, you could imagine some of these prescription drugs can probably go for even more on the black market. And that's another opportunity for these criminals to sell that information or sell the drugs themselves. So now you know. But hey, check out the two links in the description if you want more info like this. And watch this video next because I think you'll really enjoy it.